Hello students, welcome to Lucky Learning. Here in this video, I am going to discuss one of the important topic called common bus system. What is common bus system? Why common bus system is required? How to design a common bus system in a computer that we are going to discuss in the video. A typical digital computer has many registers. You can see any computer, it may have many registers. And paths must be provided to transfer information from one register to another register. A more efficient scheme for transferring information between registers in a multiple register configuration is a common bus system. Why actually common bus system is required? Suppose we have two registers, register 1 and register 2. Suppose transfer is to be taken place between register 1 to register 2. Assuming register is having 4 bits, now there should be 4 output lines of R1 should be connected to 4 input lines of R2. Suppose there is a transfer of information between R1 and R3. Then the 4 output lines of R1 should be connected to 4 input lines of R3. So what happens if the number of registers are more? number of wires are more. To avoid this problem, we use a common bus system. It means all the registers are connected to the common bus so that communication is possible. A bus structure consists of set of common lines, one for each bit of a register. If there are n bits, we have to write, we have to design n bit common bus through which binary information is transferred one at a time. Here it requires to provide some control signals to determine which register is selected by the bus. Because if n registers are there, which register is to be selected to place its information into the common bus. For that we require to have some control signals. And to design a common bus, we have a two ways to construct common bus. One is by using multiplexers and another is by using three state gates. First we will discuss about multiplexers. What is multiplexer? Multiplexer is a combinational circuit that has input lines and output lines. Simply here I am showing you a 4 by 1 multiplexer. The 4 by 1 multiplexer meaning that it has 4 input lines. That input lines are numbered 0, 1, 2 and 3. And it should have one output line. And to select one of these 4 input lines, it requires to use two selection lines. We call S0, S1. If the selection lines are 0, 0, then it is going to select the input 0 line and this input 0 line is connected to the output. If selection line is 0, 1, it is going to select input line 1 and connecting to the output. It means at any point of time, one of the input is connecting to the output. That's why the multiplexer is also called data selector. Fine. Here, a multiplexer or MUX spelled sometimes as multiplexer, also known as data selector, is a device that selects a single input signal and forwards it to a single output line. Now, we will see how to construct a common bus system for four registers, each register of four lines. Look at, it is a register A having 4 bits A0, A1, A2, A3. Register B having 4 bits B0, B1, B2, B3. Register C having 4 bits C0, C1, C2, C3. Similarly for D register with 4 bits. Now, here we have to select one of these four registers and the data of one of these four registers to be placed into the common bus. For doing this, it requires to have a 4 by 1 multiplexer. Here, because we have 4 bits in each register, 
to multiplex one of the bit it requires to use a multiplexer so we have 4 by 1 multiplexer 0 to multiplex all 0th bits and 4 by 1 multiplexer 1 to multiplex one of the first bits of 4 registers. Similarly, to multiplex second bit of these 4 registers to select third bit of the, these 4 registers we use 4 by 1 multiplexer. Now how it is to be connected? Now look at 4 by 1 max 0, observe here 4 by 1 max 0 is to multiplex only 0th bit of 4 registers. So look at all the inputs of 4 by 1 max 0 is connected with only 0th bits of these 4 registers. Similarly, 4 by 1 max 1 is connecting with first bit of these four registers. It means what could be the inputs of this 4 by 1 multiplexer A1, B1, C1, D1, correct? Similarly, you tell me what are the bits for max 2, A2, B2, C2, D2. Similarly, for max 3, we have A3, B3, C3, D3, correct? Now, <clears throat> max is going to have four inputs and one output, correct? So, it means these inputs are connected with output lines of the registers. Look at D3 output of D register is connected to D3 input of 4 by 1 max 3. And similarly, C3 output is connected to C3 input of max 3, B3, A3. Like this all these registers are connected to the max. For simplicity, I am showing you only these four lines. Otherwise, the diagram becomes sim complex. That's why I am showing you only these lines. Here it is a meaning that the D, it is connected with D2 means there is a connection path from output of register D, D2 bit output is connected to D2 input of max 2 like this. Okay. Now, what multiplexer should do? It has to select one of the four bits. To select one of the four bits, there requires two selection lines called S1 and S0. And all four multiplexers are connected with a common selection line. Why common selection line? Suppose S1 and S0 are 0, 0. What you understand? It is going to select the 0th bit. Zeroth bit in every multiplexer means zeroth input in every multiplexer. What is the zeroth input in every multiplexer? A0, A1, A2, A3. It is a meaning that when S1 and S0 is 0, 0, it is selecting A register bits. It is a meaning that A register is selected and its data is going to be placed into the common. Similarly, if it is 0, 1, it is going to select B register, 0, 0 for A register, 0, 1 for B register, 1, 0 for C register, 1, 1 for D register. So that what it will do, each multiplexer will give you one output. How many multiplexers are there? Four multiplexers. Each output, each multiplexer will give you one output. It means four outputs are there. These four lines is called our four line common bus. Fine, hope you understand. And these are the text for your notes. I am going to upload these notes and share that links in your description box. If required, please download these notes and read for your more understanding and to make your exams easy. Look at what I have explained. Again, I am reading it. Each register has four bits numbered 0 through 3. The bus consists of 4 by 1 multiplexers, each having four data inputs. The data inputs are numbered from 0 through 3 and two selection lines called S1 and S0. And output 1 of register A is connected to input 0 of max 1. This input is labeled A1. The bits in the same significant position in each register are connected to the data inputs of one multiplexer 
to form one line of the bus. It is meaning that mult max zero connected with all zero bits. Max one connected with all one bits to produce one line common bus. The max zero multiplexes the four zero bits of the registers. Max one multiplexes four one bit registers, and similarly for other. And the bus selection. It requires two selection lines, S1 and S0, are connected to the selection input of all four multiplexes. The selection lines choose the four bits of one register and transfer them into the four line common bus. So here this point have explained when selection lines are 0, 0, it is selecting A register, 0, 1, B register, 1, 0, C register, 1, 1, D register. Here, in general, what happens? A bus system will multiplex k registers of n bits each to produce n line common bus. The number of multiplexers needed to construct bus is equal to n, that is, the number of bits in each register. The size of each multiplexer must be k by 1 since it multiplexes how many data lines? k data lines. And next we will discuss common bus using three state bus buffers. A three state gate is a digital circuit that exhibits three states. The three states are called logic 1, logic 0 and the third state is called high impedance state. High impedance state we also call open state. Here, this is a typical diagram of the three-state bus buffer will have input A, output B, and control input C. Now, this buffer is exhibiting three states, logic 1, 0, and high impedance. Look at when control input is 1, that input is connected with output. Then it is acting as a buffer. When control input is 0, input is not connecting with output it is broken so we can call it is a open circuit now here you look at bus line with three state bus buffers for this we will be using a decoder circuit and the decoder circuit that we use is 2 by 4 decoder it means there are four output lines to select one of these four output lines we use two selection lines those are called exponents Suppose S1 and S0 both are 0, 0, it is going to set 1 for this output and the remaining outputs are going to be set to 0. And see, the outputs of these decoders are connected to the control input of each buffer. Now, assuming if S1 and S0 are connected with the 0, 0, it is meaning that 0 output of decoder is 1, the remaining outputs are set to 0. So, this control input is 1 means this A is connected with the output lines and the remaining are broken. It means remaining are open circuit. What does it mean? Only A register data kept into the common bus. This is called one line common. This is called one line common bus. Now, see, suppose if I have to construct n line common bus, what we have to do, the same circuit is to be repeated for n number of times. If it is a four line common bus, same circuit is repeated for four times. If it is n line common bus, same circuit is repeated for n times. To construct a common bus for four registers of n bits each using three state bus buffers requires n circuits. Each group of four buffers refers one significant bit from the four registers and each common output produces one of the lines for four a common bus for a total of n lines. And how many decoders are needed to select one bit? Only one decoder. So only one decoder is necessary to select between the four registers. Hope you have understood clearly. If you like the video, Please do like, share and subscribe and also don't forget to share with your friends. Thank you.